welcome back, everybody. I hope you enjoyed our reading last time of Chick and Pug. And uh, today we're going to be hanging out again with uh, Suki, Coco, and, and Mimble. And we're going to be reading this fine book over here. Zoro gets an outfit about a, uh, a nice pug who, who has to wear an outfit and isn't the most comfortable with it. But as you can see, these three certainly are. So uh, I hope you enjoy. Zoro gets an outfit by Carter Goodrich. The day began like any other for Zoro and Mr. Bud. Okay, all right. They had their biscuits and were ready for their walk. But there was a delay. Zoro, I've got a surprise for you. Now what? Come on, come on. Look, your very own outfit. Let's see if it fits. Zoro was embarrassed. He didn't want to go for a walk. Zoro, come on. Slow down, Mr. Bud, wait. Hey, Wonder Dog, fly around for us. Ha ha, ha ha ha. Eddie and the boys all laughed at Zoro. Even Slim made fun of them. Look, there's Slim. Let's get him. Nice outfit, Zoro. Ha ha. In the park, Mr. Bud tried to cheer up Zoro. Zoro, look. Look at this stick. Come on, grab an end. But it didn't work. Suddenly, someone new showed up. He was fast. He did amazing tricks. And he had an outfit. Just like Zoro. Hey, cool outfit. Let's race. So they raced. In the end, Dart won. Zoro came in second. And Mr. Bud came in third. Pretty soon, it was time to go. Zoro! 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 On the way home, Zoro tried to cheer up Mr. Bud about coming in third. Maybe it's because you don't have an outfit. Actually, Mr. Bud didn't really mind about coming in third. He could tell Zoro was happy now. And that made Mr. Bud happy too. Hey, hey, there's Slim. Let's get him. The end.